We're having some really strange weather here in the UK at the minute. The south and the Midlands are getting some horrendous storms, whereas Scotland's in the middle of a heat wave with temperatures in the high 20s. And here in North Yorkshire, it's cold and thick with fog. But I'm not complaining because this gives me a perfect opportunity to revisit a woodland that I've not been to in about 18 months, something like that, which seems a real shame because this is a woodland which I came to when I first started my journey in woodland photography. So I thought this would be a good opportunity just to shoot a fairly sort of short and sweet video thing where I wanted to talk about woodland composition a little bit more. So what I'm looking for is some real nice images which show a good balance between light, sort of form and colour. So uh, yeah, I kind of gave up on this place uh, some time ago. Um, I don't know why, but I would think my eyes probably changed, so fingers crossed we'll find something good. I've been wandering around for a little while now and the conditions are just lovely. We've got this really nice moody thick fog, everything's damp. There's a bit of a, a bit of a wind passing through but there's nice little calm spots and that's the moment when I'm going to press the shutter. So, But yeah, I found this really nice composition. I think it works very well so I want to talk you through that. So first of all, in terms of form, our subject to the, the image is these really nice silver birch trees and we've got this main cluster over to the left. There's some nice shape to them, some nice texture and detail. We've got another silver birch over to the right that's just helping to frame things there. Uh, we then have got a, a really nice gap which sort of takes us down to this snap silver birch just to help us to help to draw our eye into the image and we've got even more depth beyond that. So yeah, I think it's quite a nice arrangement. It works quite well. Um, but also we've got some nice balance of colour. So on the far left of the scene and the far right of the scene we've got these silver birch which are in full leaf and they're giving these really nice frame into the image of this dark green frame in left and right so that works quite well and the canopy is quite high so we don't have to worry about including the sky in the image either and we've got some nice green across the woodland floor but it's not solid green we've just got these new shoots of bracken coming through which is is really nice so rather than having this huge mass of green it's also revealing some of the bracken from last year, so we've got those nice sort of rusty browns and some nice detail there, and that, that kind of band of colours running across the bottom of the image. So that works quite well. But in terms of balance of light, well, that's really easy because we've got no sort of directional light as such, it's just really nice, soft, diffuse light from the fog. And because we've got this opening in the canopy here, that's just helping to illuminate some of the detail on these main foreground silver birch. So. Overall, I think it works quite well. And when I'm looking at the scene, I'm sort of pre-visualizing a five by four crop. But as this only does four by three, what I have to do is frame it, compose it in terms of what I want in the scene in, from top to bottom. Um, and then left to right, I have to bring in more than what I actually want, knowing that I'm going to crop a little bit off left and right. So I think I've got that right. I think that works well. Um, and then the really nice thing about here as well is that I can just more or less twist the camera slightly that way and we've got more of a kind of panoramic scene which isn't as strong as that one I don't think but still makes quite a nice image as well so I did take one further down which isn't as strong but I might show that one too because I really like that kind of connection I've mentioned before about going out capturing an image and then seeing if there's something else nearby just so we can kind of connect a series of images together so yeah I hope that made sense see what you think
So I found a shot here and I'm not 100% convinced about it but that's fine and that makes an important point is that if you see something and it resonates with you and there's just something about it that you like then take the shot anyway because it might just surprise you when you get back and that's the thing with woodland you've just kind of got to do what feels right you've got to go with your gut instinct because if you try to follow formulas you know if you try to adhere to the rule of thirds or if you try to look for foreground midground and background all the time then I think you're just going to end up with a bit of a headache so you've got to try different things you know take some concept shots and just do what feels right and that's kind of what I'm doing here is that there's something that I like about it and it's just a little bit different and it's probably going to be one of those kind of marmite shots which is fine I quite like that I quite like something that has a little bit of tension in, in it and I think the one thing that's probably putting me off slightly at the minute is that we've got this quite dark silver birch just going across in front of this rowan tree and I don't know if I like that or not <laughs> it's just I think I'd prefer it if it was a nice sort of light coloured silver birch so it wasn't just too dark and, and too dominant against that kind of nice sort of soft rowan tree in the background but there's other things that I quite like you know we've got a snap silver birch at the back and that's quite light we've got another silver birch that's in full leaf and I just quite like all the draping branches and leaves just sort of hanging down and swaying in the wind um, and then we've got a kind of gap further down just to kind of give it a bit of depth and atmosphere we've got this solid band of really quite vibrant lime green bracken in the foreground and I quite like that as well so there's some quite nice things in terms of framing and some nice sort of natural framing with dark leaves and bracken and different things going on so in terms of composition there's no rules whatsoever it was just it's just about the framing it's about the bands of color it's about just little details that I quite like so I think I'm going to show that and you can let, let me know what you think but I think overall if I can wait, wait for a point where it's not the wind's not blowing too strong it probably have a fairly peaceful feel to it so we'll see how it turns out So as usual, my gear's getting quite wet. I think for the amount of time that I spend in damp conditions in the rain, I should probably get a proper waterproof cover for this camera. I normally have these little hand towels which do the job quite nicely, or at least just I should just bring out a plastic bag. But, but anyway, I'm gonna take one last shot. You might be able to see behind me here, we've got this nice little silver birch just coming up and arching over. It's a nice little character. And it's just surrounded by the, all these older, bolder, taller silver birch, which is not ideal. They don't have that nice sort of light colored texture bark like we saw earlier. They're a bit sort of duller, but there's some nice warm tones. They might contrast quite nicely with the coolness of the fog. But the one thing that I need to be careful of with this scene is not bringing in too much. Because if I bring in too much, I kind of lose the focus on that tree and I bring in some bright areas which are probably going to be a bit of distraction. So I've gone in quite tight um, and I've used a square crop. Now, with the Sony's, unfortunately, you don't get a square crop option but you can set the grid to 6x4 and then use a 4x4 grid in the middle to compose your square image. And that's just allowing me to get in quite tight, possibly a little bit too tight because some of the trees are being cropped off slightly, um, which isn't ideal and only prefer just a little bit of space. But I think because the image is very much about that 
younger tree in the middle I think I'm going to get away with that so it probably works okay and it, as usual all my woodland stuff it, I'm positioning myself left to right just in the, the ideal position to get the separation between the different trees in this scene so I think overall it works it works okay it's quite nice again I, th I prefer the other image that I uh, captured earlier but this is worth capturing as well um, and the fog's coming quite nice actually now so I'm just going to grab that shot again and there we go Right, that's it, I'm ready for my porridge and my coffee, but I've really enjoyed coming back here actually after so long and it's just it's just great when you're shooting locally to be able to come back to these places, see how they've changed, see how they look under different conditions and more importantly to see how my eyes developed for composition. Um, please check out my website for information about prints and workshops, one-to-ones, there's a couple of places left on the Scotland workshop that I'm running with Rachel Talibart. Um, but for now, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope to see you for the next one.